Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. This is my uh, my daughter's uh, two, 2000 Explorer and she's down visiting so I'm uh, checking the car over and uh, I noticed the top of the battery was pretty wet. Uh, and the battery was uh, manufactured and purchased December of 2010 and right now it's June of 2013 so it's not that old a battery it's not three years old yet it's got a three-year full replacement warranty on it uh, so I'm wondering if the uh, the last time this truck got an oil change she brought it to a, um, an oil change place because uh, I, I didn't have time to do it uh, so she brought it to a place up in Orange County. Anyway, I was wondering if they overfilled the battery. I never noticed it being that wet before. So I pulled off the, the covers and checked. Um, it wasn't overfilled. Actually, the two end uh, cells were just a little bit underfilled. So I topped them off. I wiped down the whole battery. There was corrosion on both of the positive and negative posts. So I took them off, cleaned them all up with a wire brush, I put some grease down. I really should have done a, a video for you guys, but uh, I slipped my mind until I got into it. So I'm just talking you through it. Uh, if you have corrosion, take the positive and negative off and make sure that um, I always, well, if you take the positive off first, you're safe because you could touch it anywhere and, and nothing's going to happen. Uh, don't take the negative off first because then you, if you touch that to something else metal that's grounded, you could get a spark. Uh, anyway, I have done another video on that. You can search the channel if you want to. Uh, so I cleaned them up with wire brush. I greased them. The grease helps prevent the corrosion, the uh, electrical corrosion. It's not rust corrosion, it's electrical corrosion. That little fuzzy white stuff that you see. Anyway, I'm checking the battery right now. I've got 12.2, which is good voltage for, you know, the car is not running right now. It probably does have a some uh, current draw from oh, I don't know, an alarm or a light that's on somewhere or uh, the, the brain of the of the car and I'm going to start it up and I'm going to see what uh, the alternator is doing to charge the battery. Hold on. Uh, it's, uh, now it's being charged by the alternator. It's 14.2 and that's pretty good. I mean that's about what it should be. So that's a simple test to see if if it was charging 15 or even a higher 14, I might be concerned that it was getting overcharged. Uh, but 14.2 seems okay to me. I'm going to see if I can speed up the idle. That's 2,500 RPM, and it's still, I think it's the same number it was before, so my initial diagnosis is that it's not getting overcharged. Maybe it did get overfilled and that was just uh, the excess that came out. What I'm going to do is uh, just keep a watch, a watchful eye on it the next time she comes down. Now that it's all clean and dry and uh, see, uh, see if it looks wet next time she comes down. Anyway, that's just a, uh, a quick way to test if your battery is being overcharged if the top of the battery is wet. Uh, so I thought I'd pass that around to you guys and gals. If it helps you out, give me a thumbs up. If you want more from Froggy, subscribe to my channel. It's free. See you later. Froggy out. Now Froggy's going to give you one more little bit of information here. I'm attaching my meter to the alternator. Now, there's a ground there. It's just a mounting bolt for the alternator. And then, usually, the hot lead of the alt, the hot uh, 
piece of the alternator is underneath the rubber cover. See there's a little rubber cover there. I don't know if you can see it. Right where the light is there. I pushed it up out of the way and I've got my meter on that uh, hot terminal. Now I've got 12.4 I just raced the engine so it did charge up the battery a little bit probably and I'm going to uh, start the engine up and I'll just let it idle I'm not going to race it and I'm going to see what voltage I'm getting at the alternator. Alternator charges the battery and uh, when um, you know once the, once the truck is started the alternator basically sends power to the whole car and the batteries in the loop too uh, but let me start it up okay now we've got the, the truck running and the alternator is putting out uh, some you know 14.3 which is pretty much right in the ballpark what it should be doing to charge up a 12 volt battery uh, so it looks okay on this end too uh, like I said, I'm, I just cleaned up the battery really good and I'm going to keep an eye on the battery. And uh, all the water levels are good in the battery now, so it shouldn't really get very wet on the top. Sometimes it gets a little bit, but it was really wet before. I wish I had taken a picture of it for you, but sorry, I, I forgot that part. So. Grease on the terminal, terminal's tight, protect your positive, it's got a little cover there in the positive, and a two and a half year old battery. Uh, we're just going to wait and see on this one, it starts good, uh, I just don't want her to get stranded somewhere with a, a battery that lets out. Okay, uh, that's it from Froggy on this one, uh, see you later.